Hello everyone. Today you are going to perform a beam simulations. Here is a beam. That is a cantilever beam loaded with a UDL at a specific span of the length. That is loaded about 4 inch at the middle portion of the beam with the UDL of 20, 20 pound force per inch. And here you can see the counterclockwise movement has been applied at the point D and whereas the beam is fixed at the point A. So by using the solid box simulations, you will conclude the shear force diagrams as well as the binding moment diagrams. You will also calculate the reactions at the point A. You can see that here is the 80 pound force reactions due to this UDL as well as this moment. As well as you will calculate the bending moments throughout the beam. Here at the fixed point, here the bending moment is minus 160. Whereas the bending moment at the maximum level is 240 pound 4 inch. So let's start our study now. If you have any questions, you can ask me in comment box. So let's let's start our simulation study. First of all, we will make a uh, three lines, three inch, then four inch, as well as the three inch, in order to divide the beam in three segments. And please note that overall length of beam is 10 inch. Here, first of all, change the units into inches and select the first front plane. Just draw a straight line starting from origin, line 1, line 2 and line 3. Length of the first portion as well as last section of beam is equal, that is 3 inch. So length of this section is 3 inch and length of the middle section is 4 inch. Middle section is the section where you can see UD, UDL will be applied. Okay. Now exit from sketch and go to the weldments. Here we will suppose that beam is has a cross section that is circular. So from the weldments, go to the structure member and select these three lines. You can see that the type is square type, square tube, you can select the pipe and size. That is the default. OK. So we have assigned the pipe profile to this line. But we want to change the profile size of this pipe. Just click here and edit the profile. We want that the our beam is solid. So just delete this circle and change its value to 0.5 inch. That we have a beam that has a circular dia of half inch. You can see here. After that, go to the SOLIDWORKS add-ins and upload a load simulation, premium simulations. And wait until the simulation tab appears here. If are new to me, if are you are new to my channel, please subscribe and give your comments. So simulation type has been appeared here. Click on the simulations. 
start a new static study. Okay. So take the front view normal to the screen. Here this beam has four joints. One, two, three, four. The these purple joints are these are free ends and these are the ends that are not free. These are end joints. This is end joint one and this is end joint two. And these both are the middle joints. Just assign the material that is alloy steel. Now go to the fixtures and apply a fixed boundary conditions. As you can see here, that beam is fixed at its end A. So from here, select the this joint. Okay. So we have fixed support at this end A. After that, you have to define a UDL on this portion. So go to the loads and select the force. Then select the beam options from this selection box and select the middle span and for the reference geometry select front plane, change units to inch and per unit length and it is in y directions that is 20. After that, you have to apply a counterclockwise moment at the this end or free end of the beam. So again go to the loads, select the torque. Here you will select the joint, select this one and for the dimension select the front plane. Select the units in inch pound and then apply a moment that is counterclockwise mean negative to 40 pound force. Just run your study now. Now Take your the front plane, front view, and from the result, define the beam diagrams. Then we will show the shear force in direction 2 and change units to pound force. So you can see the shear force diagram of this cantilever beam that the direction at a fixed end is maximum, that is 80 pound force you can see and it is become zero at the end of seven inch of the length of the beam starting from the, this fixed end and if we check the compare its results you can see yes it is 80 pound force and comes zero at the seven inch from the end o Similarly, you will check the movements Define beam diagrams From here, you have to select the moment about direction 1 Change units to pound force inch You can see the movements Sorry, if we change the units into just reverse the direction. And then change the load usual direction also.
you can see that moment is 160 at the end A and is 240 at end at the free end. That is similar to our calculation. That is 160 at end A and 240 at the free end. 